Let's take a look at whether the hydroxide ion, OH minus, is polar or nonpolar. So we have our Lewis structure here. And these brackets, they mean that we have an extra negative charge on the hydroxide ion. That's why it's an ion. It has a negative charge here. Specifically, it's an anion. So first, let's look at the difference in electronegativity between the hydrogen and the oxygen. The periodic table here has the values written in for us. Hydrogen, 2.20. Oxygen, 3.44. So we have a big difference in electronegativity. And what that means is the electrons in this bond here, the ones shared between the hydrogen and the oxygen, they're not going to be shared equally. They'll spend more time with the more electronegative element here, which is oxygen. What ends up happening is that gives us a negative charge here on the oxygen. It's more negative. The hydrogen is more positive. So we have poles. So we can say that the hydroxide ion, it is polar. We should also note that with the hydroxide ion here, we have this extra negative here, this extra electron. And that also contributes to the fact that it will interact with other polar substances like water, for instance. So in answer to our question, the hydroxide ion, it is a polar ion. Thanks for watching.